Hey Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today's topic is an energy check-in. Okay, so we're gonna delve into your energy surrounding you, all right, and within you, and see what comes out. And well, as always, we'll see moving forward. Okay, so remember that this is a collective reading, and it may or may not resonate for you fully. All right, it could play out past, present, or future. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Okay. I want to say thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It's greatly appreciated, okay? Including you all that just watch the ads through. I appreciate that too. So let's go on and delve into it. What I wanted to show itself right off the bat is I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner and my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. Somebody here practices feng shui. Somebody recently got a splinter too as well, or you will. And then it says, my home is a peaceful haven. You're definitely a homebody energy. You're someone that is uh, a clean freak, or you just like things in their place. Everything should have a place and it should go where it needs to go. They're telling me I need to pull one more card. Okay, here we have... My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. So you got somebody on your ass. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon. They're like, or a, a couple people. It could be the energy of you receiving criticism. I know Virgos kind of give criticism, whether you're aware of this or not. Sun, Moon, Horizon, but... Now someone is doing that to you and they're like tip picking at little things that you do. Like, you know, you like things a certain way. So you take the time out and put them a certain way, especially when it comes towards your home. Okay. You like a nice clean home. You like things organized. All right. And somebody is nitpicking at that. All right. And you're realizing like, well, damn, or you need to realize like, well, damn, I'm, I love others. And others should love me. It should be easy exchange. I shouldn't have to jump through hoops. I shouldn't have to be someone that I'm not, okay? And I feel like I just have to overstate that you're a homebody and you like things to be the way that you want them to be, okay? So smash that like button if that's you. At the bottom deck, we have, I listen with love to my body's messages. You could be stressed the fuck out right now, okay? And you need to listen to the messages that your body gives you. Okay, for a lot of you that your nervous system gives you, okay, you could be stressing the fuck out over topics that should be simple, okay, shouldn't be forced, especially when it comes to love. It says, my body is always working towards optimum health. My body wants me to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy whole and complete okay this is calling you to take a step back and focus on your health okay stop trying to be i don't think you're trying to be this perfectionist but i think you're just being yourself and you're stressing the fuck out okay and i want you to just take a moment and kind of think you could be somebody although you're you know tedious a little bit on certain things you could be lenient on others okay and stress is definitely a factor here that i want you to really pay attention to virgo sun moon horizon let's throw some tear it on and see what's going on with you and around you here we have the hermit card now this is actually you Virgo, the Virgo card, okay? So you're going within, you're like, look, everything seems okay, but it's something that I'm missing internally. I feel like you feel some type of void, like you want to start a new beginning somewhere, okay? Especially in love. I feel like you're not getting the love that you want to receive. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords here. It lets me know that you've had some type of disappointment, some type of heartbreak, some type of fucking burnout, Okay, that's the important of listen to your body. Okay, you've been having headaches lately, you need to get more rest, or you need to make sure that you're eating. Okay, and make sure the quality of the food you're eating are you eating fruits and vegetables? Are you cooking at home or are you going out to eat? Okay, are you buying processed foods or are you making your foods fresh? Think about those things. Okay, 
with the hangman here is definitely some stagnancy here where you're looking at a situation. You're like, how come I can't just go within and get the answers that I seek and start anew? I'm telling you, you've been having headaches. If you've been having headaches, smash that like button because I know you're stressed the fuck out. And you're somebody that they're telling me psychoanalyzes. So, I mean, it's perfectly fine to analyze your thoughts, okay? But then don't beat yourself up about those thoughts, okay? You can analyze them and find a way to change them. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do. But some point of view is stuck. Oh, okay. With the Ten of Pentacles, you could have a family situation here that you're focusing on. You could have, uh, you want to focus on your legacy, what's to come long term, what's my money looking like. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're dealing with a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. You're stuck on having a family with this person. All right, something here is like they've told you that you do certain things wrong or that it affects them or that. Let me get one more on this fire sign. Mm, King of Swords. So they're saying like, um, you maybe have cursed them out or you haven't been showing them much affection um, with the Three of Pentacles here. They could be saying like you're cheating on them. Two of Cups or you are um, bossing them around. You know, things aren't equal between the two of you anymore. This very well could be the person that's like, you know what? You're not loving me correctly. You're so focused on tedious things, you know. And you're really sitting here thinking like, damn, do, do I need to change who I am to have this new beginning? Do You're even questioning yourself like, damn, if I move forward and I'm not with this person anymore, will I run into this problem again? Is it me, you know? with the five of cups here i feel like you're trying to obtain this emotional standpoint with this person and you just keep coming up lacking like it's not enough right with the hair fine here you very well could be married to this person or you could have had some type of higher commitment with them but i'm seeing that you feel like damn if i do damn if i don't you know and I feel like something here is coming to an end. With the magician here, I feel like you're going to manifest yourself out of this. For sure. Whether you try to stay stagnant and put up with this or not, you're going to manifest yourself out of this. It's saying you have the tools with two major arcana and the will of fortune. You have the tools here to get yourself out of this rut. I even see judgment here. But you have to decide what it is that you want. Okay, the queen of pentacles. And the page of cups there is another person in the mix there surely is another person here an earth sign some moon arising like yourself this person is uh waiting to receive an offer from you the world waiting for a cycle to close they're stressed out damn so let me get one more. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. You could have ghosted somebody or you could have started talking to somebody and then um, stopped because you were dealing with this fire sign. We're going to get some clarity here because I want to know. Okay, we got to make sure these reads is clear here for y'all. Okay, okay. Yeah, I am getting third party energy. You know, I saw that Three of Pentacles. And, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to say that that's exactly what it was because I didn't get any supporting cards, but now that I do, and you may be seen as manipulative towards this fire sign that you're dealing with, sun, moon, or rising. Oh yeah. You want to know why? Because they feel like you've put them in a third party situation. That's what it is. And now you're seen as manipulative towards them. But a cycle is wrapping up between the two of you for sure. And you have, it's like you have this other person that is a little more stable uh, financially. And it's like they're waiting on this offer from you. With the two of wands here, there is a choice here. Virgo, some on horizon. And that's what it is. Damn, with the nine of swords. You know that you have to make some type of choice, some type of decision now. And it's burning you the fuck out deep down inside. You're not showing those around you. Yeah, look at this burden. Yeah, you have a burden. You have a choice between two. 
I don't see the lovers out here, but it's definitely the lover's energy. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, you're stuck and stagnant because you're trying to figure out who would give you the emotional fulfillment here. You have a Queen of Cups, somebody that is very intuitive. I feel like you're just saying... You want someone that is emotionally balanced, somebody that's going to be off, open to, you know, because Virgos have like a different type of love language. You know, you all like to do things for people. OK, that's how you express that you love them. OK, you're always there to lend a helping hand. OK, and I feel like you want someone that values the things that you have to offer. OK, especially when it comes to emotional things as well. Love. And then we have that Ten of Pentacles again. So you're like, look, you're almost revamping who you want to spend the rest of your life with, who you want to have a home with, who you want to have this longevity with. You could be blending a family with someone or you could just have your own family that you want to start, okay? And you're trying to figure out who is the best choice, especially coming out as this King of Swords. You're being very strategic, okay? But you're using the experiences and the knowledge that you have prior to this to get you through okay to make the right decisions for you it's all about who you're gonna work together with okay who you're gonna mesh well with right and with the devil energy here i feel like that's what the fuck you're stressing out over in my home life who can i fit in who i just heard who can i run to when i need love escape that's your channel song oh the sun card Definitely Leo energy. It's like you could like certain things about the Leo or the fire sign, sun, moon, or rising, and then certain things about this earth sign, sun, moon, or rising, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. But the bottom deck is right now you're undecided. You could have both of these energies at an arm's length until you really decide, okay? And right now, like I said earlier, you're stressed the fuck out mentally, OK, and this is what's preventing you from making a clear choice. All right. The bottom deck, this is what's hidden. You have the option between two. One of them, I feel like you have some type of uh, longevity with the fire sign. Because I wanted to say that when, especially when this sun card came out, okay, it's somebody you want to come back to. But at the same time, I feel like you want to come back to the earth sign. OK, take it how it resonates. And these people could just be embodying these energies. But whoever you're going to come back to, you want to have a family with them, rather as if it's a blending of a family or rather if it's just a reconciliation of a family and starting a family. OK, lastly, we have that four wands. OK, that's that home life. OK, I'm hearing uh, happy wife, happy life. OK. For some of you, you could be wanting to get married as well. For some of you, you are married, okay? So take it how it resonates. Uh, you're trying to see, should you move on to a new beginning? Or should you, you know, stay where you are and rekindle? Here we have moving forward, that shaman, ancient healing wisdom. I feel like you are calling on your reserves you have a lot of ancestors around you you could have some type of native american background or somebody that was like a medicine man or a medicine woman or somebody that knows herbs does hoodoo okay um in your ancestor lineage okay and i feel like that rolls down to you i feel like you do things that uh, are healing OK, when the time is right, you're going to delve into that a little bit more. I feel like moving forward, we also have emergence. Yeah, you're emerging into a new um, beginning with oneself. I feel like you're going to find attributes about yourself that are very healing. OK, and I feel like uh, for a lot of you, you may choose to heal a situation as things become clearer to you. Yeah, we have that Gaia nurturing energy. I'm also getting like a baby mother, baby father energy as well. And then we have blessings, that rainbow that comes out after the storm. So I feel like right now you're going through a mental decision and you have all the tools that you need to get what it is that you want out of the situation. But I feel like you're going back and forth because you really want to know what the fuck should you do? It's like making your next move your best move, okay? And you want to feel loved. You want to be loved, okay? There's a lot of power here and a lot of earth magic, okay? So the elementals are with you. I feel like you're going to find out that you're very good at healing, 
Okay. You want me to show you this card underneath? Yeah, creation. So dream time. You could be having a lot of dreams right now. Definitely pay attention to that uh, as they can help be a guide toward, you know, towards the direction that you want to go. Okay, but heavy on the emergence and the healing uh, there because I feel like some type of new aspect of you is about to be emerged that has to do with healing, especially of oneself. Okay, this may be a situation that may um, ignite that healing energy within you and learning how to uh, calm down and de-stress yourself. Okay, so... If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.